today's video is a little bit different. It's a little bit fun. It's something I really wanted to do ever since I watched the new Mad Max movie because there are some really cool makeup looks in that movie that I just had to create myself. So in no way, shape, or form are any of these makeups really done very precisely. However, this movie is set in a post-apocalyptic world, so thus it is my friend in that none of their makeups are ever perfect. Always changing, always different. So this is just kind of like my take on it. I decided to try out three of my favorite characters from the movie, and the first one being Immortan Joe, the big bad guy in the whole movie, and then I turn him slowly into Nux, and then to top it all off, I just turn right into Furiosa. So I hope you guys don't mind, but I did not talk during these tutorials just so I could focus more on the makeup, and then I'll hopefully just do a little voiceover, and I hope that's not a huge deal. I know it may not be exactly the most helpful tutorial because some of you may not even in your wildest dreams, imagine going out like this. However, I think for the first and the last tutorial, I'd probably go to at least like a punk show wearing this makeup. I think it's really rad. So yeah, stay tuned for the tutorials. All right, so I'm gonna be starting off by priming my eyelid, as you should for any look really, to have that good base down first so that nothing budges throughout the day using a really fluffy shadow brush and my favorite eyeshadow sugar pill bulletproof. And I'm going to be dusting this all along my eyelids in a pretty messy manner. It's really not a whole lot of precision going on quite yet. I'm just taking a little bit extra shadow and blending it upwards. If you check out a picture of Joe, you're going to see that his eyeshadow goes quite far up, all the way basically to his eyebrow. I didn't really feel comfortable with that, and if you don't, that's totally fine. Just blend it up to where you feel suits your eye shape the best, and give it some blending. Now I'm just using a shader brush and Love Plus from the Sugar Pill Palette, the best red that I've ever used in my entire freaking life. Just kind of tap it off a little bit and place this underneath the eye. So this is going to give a little bit of a sickly look, if you can't tell. Makes you look a little bit dying. <laughs> However, I really, really do like the effect that this gives. It does make me a really happy person. And I actually have worn an eye makeup out looking quite like this. <laughs> just some spiky lashes, just kind of girlify this up a little bit so it's not so tough and manly. Now here's the crazy part. With lips, I don't have a lot of neutrals. This is a tiny little thing from Kat Von D. It's just a neutral lipstick, and it's too pink. So I went in with my Shade and Light Eye Palette, used a little dark brown color up from the top there, and I kind of just went around my mouth, darkening it up a little bit, making it brown. This is just inspired by his mask, because he does have a brown and mask with like yucky yellow teeth. So for the teeth I'm using Sugar Pill again. <laughs> Can you tell what my favorite eyeshadow brand is? Using their Butter Cupcake and a little stipply type of, I don't know what kind of brush that is, round blending brush? I don't, I don't know. But I'm just gonna dab that in the middle of the lips. Kind of trying to cover up a little bit of that pink because it's driving me bonkers but like I said that's literally like one of the only neutral lipsticks I own. <laughs> So I'm dabbing that over there, and that's the, uh, the, the finished look there. It's just kind of more of a feminized Joe. Alright, so going into the next tutorial, once again using the shader brush and the Sugar Pill Bulletproof, I'm going to be transforming into Nux, which is pretty easy from this point. I really just got to cover up that red eyeshadow underneath there. And that kind of turns it into that hollow black skull look that Nux 
kind of has for a bit of the movie. The makeup does wear off throughout the movie, and you do tell that some of his markings are scars. However, hey, it's makeup, right? So, now I'm using a new Kat Von D eyeliner that I've purchased. It's the white one in her new, like, colorful eyeliners. Just kind of mapping out some teethy things. Uh, these are in no way perfect at all, and I probably could have given them a little more time and love and effort, but what can you do? Afterwards, I kind of went in with a black eyeshadow smudged between the teeth a little bit, just to kind of maybe give it a tiny, tiny bit of dimension. And the next part gets a little bit greasy, so I grabbed my electric palette because I remembered I had a silver. And if you've watched this movie, you know what happens with the silver. So, just just give it some time. I'm just kind of going to rub my brush in there. Yep. Okay. Ready for this? Me neither. Okay. Just go for it. So, spraying that shit all over my mouth because in the movie right before they're about to sacrifice themselves they do spray this really strange like silver stuff all over their mouth and then yes I did get a little greasy and <sighs> yep got a little gross so put it all over them pearly whites to turn them to some nasty ass silver teeth so, yeah, that was just a little touch from the movie. Alright, so I totally and completely forgot to re-hit record. So you didn't see me turn into Furiosa, but I used my Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow in the darkest color that they have. I think it's called granite. Used my little phalanges and I just patted it all over my face until it was kind of an even coverage... Okay, that, I'm lying, it wasn't an even coverage at all, because it's not supposed to be, uh, it's supposed to be kind of gross and everywhere, but that was what I thought I could use best, that could resemble, possibly, truck grease rubbed all over my face. So, thanks for watching, guys, I hope you enjoyed this random video.